Hey, I got the easy pass. I'm gonna head through. All right? Thank you. <laughs> oh, I'm telling you, I love my easy pass. Hey, I got that easy pass. Going through? Oh, I guess so. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> wow, wow, Wes. Hey. Wow, wow. Wes. There it is. I need some, I need a slap. Are dude. we on? Imagine you're slapping a thick rump, dude. What the fuck? How would you slap if it was a thick rump? Yeah, let me see if it was a fat ass and you were behind it. Let me see. Wow, wow. Oh, oh whoa. So you're going to line your hand up on it and make sure you don't. You're going to get the, so you don't actually get inside a cheek. Excellent. True. That's we're a very just... sensitive area to smack a girl. Oh, yeah. Inside Sometimes the they go, what the fuck are you doing? You mean they're like in their when butthole? you accidentally connect with the crack a little. Oh, yeah, dude. Because I'm fucking. <laughs> I don't even know. I don't hold at all. I just when I'm cried... dogging, I go. <laughs> I just karate chopped them right on the butthole. Just fucking... <laughs> <laughs> dude, if you yes, gave yes. a girl a karate chop on the butthole, not as hard as you could, obviously, because you'd split her in half. Yes. But if you did like a, you did like a quick fucking <laughs> to the butthole, they'd probably do something i mean yeah if you can split them <laughs> they'd probably you can split brick i could split a brick <laughs> yeah, i have no doubt i could split girl's a, butthole would be nothing girl's butthole would just yeah dude give me three you'd two stack buttholes. three of them on top of each other <laughs> <laughs> and they'd all just come at the oh it's probably what all girls really want is to be cut in half from the butthole <laughs> <laughs> um ma'am I hit my i hit my girl with a funny one this morning would you get it you would have liked it she What'd came in the room it was she was looking for her laptop and it was in the bed and i was like what do you want? She goes, my laptop. I go, when do you want it? She goes, now. <laughs> and I go, what do you want? She goes, my laptop. I go, when do you want it? She goes, now. <laughs> it's a fun little trick. You can That's get a very good. You trick. see somebody looking for something, hit them with, what do you want? When do you want it? And then they go, now. And then you start a chant. You go, what do you want? <laughs> it's a fun trap. That is fun to get them caught up. They get peeved. No, she liked it. Did she like that? She had a fun. She had a fun laugh, and I said, "Ma'am, <laughs> pleasure doing business with you." I said, "I said pleasure eating your pussy." <laughs> Sorry, I almost chopped you in half. I might have sex with just the boots and the hat today. Why wouldn't you? Because <laughs> it would. <laughs> you could. I look like Foghorn Leghorn. <laughs> uh, donghorn Leghorn. Yeah, dude. big donghorn. Come on, dude. You know I got a. Fucking fat dong. I can't. I can't. I said fat dong. <laughs> I can't wait till the t when my career takes off enough for me to get a full fucking penoplasty. When I get my oh, dick. Yeah. When I get my dick implant, what I can't thinking? wait. Oh my god, I'm going. You going six gun? Yeah. Getting a big long barrel. shooter. I'm gonna get a barrel. I'm yeah, gonna widen. Yeah, yeah. First, extendo. I'm gonna widen. I'm gonna widen. You gotta get the first. extendo. I'm, I'm gonna, gonna get the barrel. I'm, I'm gonna, gonna get a, I'm gonna get a sack extension. Get <laughs> a barrel. Get a Tommy gun for a dick, dude. It's a big dongy. I'm gonna get blue. I'm gonna get blue t contacts and <laughs> get my dick my widened. I'm gonna get blue contacts, LASIK to get bad. I want to try to get 2010 LASIK. My vision's fine, but I'm gonna get pilot's vision and then a wider penis. That's all you gotta do. And then see what's up. I'll take. I'll take it from there. <laughs> I'll take it from there. God damn it. It's yeah, I might do 2010 pilot's vision and then just talk my wife into doing like a group Tinder profile. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, get cat eyes. Get cat eyes and then go full dude, fucking swinger with your wife. If I got a fake nine and cat eyes, dude. Yes. Oh my God. That'd be crazy. What else is what is there? What is there left it's in the life? top of the mountain? Nine inch <laughs> fake dick and cat eyes. Nine lives, too. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. And then you gotta get, yeah, extension braids so you can get cornrows. For sure. Long cornrows, cat eyes. Dude. Yeah, I'll just it's become riffraff. It's over. I'll just become yeah, riffraff. Sure. You're essentially riffraff at this point. <laughs> Shark teeth. Yeah, dude. Well, oh man. So what's up? Did what's we? Up? Did I talk to you about JP? No. That was after. Oh, I went. Saved and saw, I went and saw Jordan Peterson. 
Awesome. Got to meet him after. Went to the green room to meet the esteemed Dr. Peterson. By the way, that shit ruled. Yeah. It was like really good. At Who? first, I went with Francis Ellis. Nice. So me and him are just sitting there. Francis, for a Harvard man, didn't really follow along too well. Really? Yeah, I think it's more abstract shit. Francis has Francis is a book man. High in openness. Yeah. Yeah, I had you're to pretend. High in openness. Francis was like, do you understand this? I was like, yeah, shut up. I'm yeah, listening. Dude. No, I didn't understand. <laughs> At one point, he's like, that's a Freudian nightmare, isn't it? And I was like, who the fuck is Freud? <laughs> <laughs> we had a good laugh. That's fun. Yeah, but... uh. At one point, this is this is what made me laugh, and I mean this story with all due respect sure. to Doctor Peterson uh, and Michaela. This is a complete respect. Absolutely. All right. So I mean, dude, exactly. Yes. Tip of the hat. Respectful as hell to the Canadians. Our neighbors up north. <laughs> Stay strong. Stay strong. <laughs> Justin from Canada, and uh, <laughs> we. Uh, so we get done. One of the things he's talking about is how when you look at something, you're always valuing something. So like your eyes, you you value things naturally. Mm-hmm. So whatever you're looking at, you're valuing that. Yeah, that's what I, <laughs> Yeah, that's exactly what happened. All right. So whatever you're looking at, that's the most, not the most important thing to you, but your eyes, you've decided you're, you've got a value system. Sure. Something moves quickly. You naturally, you look at it because that's an, it could be a threat, something sure. like that. So you're assigning value at all times, basically, was what I gathered. Anyway, we get done. I'm talking to Michaela and Jordan. And while he's talking to me, I was just looking at Michaela's tits. <laughs> And it was it was making me laugh so much that I was like, while talking to him, I was like, <laughs> I've assigned value. This is better. <laughs> and this is nothing but respect. Of course. I wasn't like oogling. I just happened to look over and see them. You caught, they attracted, you thought it was a threat. They caught your field of view. Like, is they, that a fucking buffalo? No, they're just That was titties. not a threat. They're just was, damn titties. It was just t- damn titties. Damn titties. <laughs> them Canadian, that Canadian shot down. <laughs> <laughs> you caught them in your line of vision. I saw someone at Ottawa. <laughs> <laughs> he says, is that a woolly mammoth? No, that's some no, motherfucking titties. That's in some sweater. milkies. It's Canadian milks. That's some big natties. And then I went back to respecting the doctor. That was big natties. That was, I saw some naturals. You assign value to them. He's like, I value But those. in my head, I was I was like, should I tell them how funny that is? <laughs> like, I was almost going to tell him. He would have he would have fucking rolled his sleeves up. He may have He may have fought me. Yeah, well, he might have actually been like, well, I see what you did there. Yeah. It's clever. But yeah. he would have went... But that's extremely disrespectful. What you've done? Yeah, or he might, but he might carry a knife. Yeah, he could have killed me on the spot. He might have. If I was or, dispatched or just... by JP, that'd be pretty tight. <sighs> Sent to the next realm. But... Gains all your powers. <laughs> he just highlander you. He probably has it. He probably keeps a blade on him. I would. I would imagine he keeps that thing. Something. On. Bow staff up his sleeve that he can. <laughs> he might have staffed you. It was that was that was a wise move to keep that under your fucking. Man. Yeah. If you, that would that's a joke. I think he would have been like. I think that's a joke that even if they heard it now, they wouldn't really like that much. <laughs> but I thought it was a funny goof. That is a funny goof, and he might have giggled, but I, I don't know. I feel like because he's he a funny to, guy. He had some funny quips. He's a funny guy. Yeah, he's a fucking. You know, he's like a musician, right? I don't like that. Did you see the song? I don't no. know. Again, I will look at things on YouTube, and I'm half paying attention. JP has a song. I out? think he just cut a track. No, it sounds like a Pink Floyd tune. It's sick, dude. I didn't think it was him. I thought he put out a weird music video. And it, dude, he's he's, he's a, putting out music that, that that's, my fears could be coming true that he is a glory hound. Oh, I mean, he's a total glory hound. Four forty or four thirty-two. What do you mean? Uh, it's probably four forty if I had to guess. Although Pink Floyd apparently recorded in four thirty-two, and it does sound very Floyd-esque. So, mm. good doc might have been four thirty-two. Yeah, I mean, dude, we're, he's for sure. I mean, we're all glory hounds at some level, and he is sure. for sure. But he doesn't. He he uses his glory houndness for. I would say it was fucking crazy. Just watching him. Talk. He his hand. Oh, he's, he's like, crazy, dude. <laughs> he's in the ether, dude. He's fully in the ether, and he's like, he's just walking around. But it makes sense when he goes and then and he it, pauses. And just... <laughs> he like freestyle raps for like a second. <laughs> yeah, he's Doctor Strange, dude. I At think he's first, I, he is Doctor Strange. He's Doctor Strange is for sure. But the first time, like I was sitting there, the first like twenty minutes, I was like, "Fuck, yeah, I fucked up." Yeah, because the first twenty was tough. Yeah, I didn't understand what the fuck he was saying. It's a weird thing to strap into too. I saw him in Upper Derby. I was there. Yeah, was the oh, same yeah. show. Duh. Yeah, yeah me and Spud went. Yeah, separately. Me and me and the Sponge went. The Sponge absorbed very little. He doesn't like JP. Because the sponge is just a CNN lip. Dude. Well, he had, he did have, <laughs> when they brought out that like that Midas touch shit, Peterson got hit with that. He got hit with like a, 
like a mechanized media yeah. machine that's beholden to the Democratic Like that's Party. what Francis was saying when we were walking in. He was like, isn't this guy like an alt-right guy? No. And I was like, I don't think. No, dude. I was like, I'm not, I don't think I can think of one thing. Dude, he recorded all of his lectures and they were, they were sick. And it was just like Jungian archetypals. Nothing in there that was kind of political. I love Jungian archetypals. Dude, it was nasty as fuck. Just watching Pinocchio, I'm like, this is what this means. And you're like, oh, dude, oh my God, this is so fucking yeah. sick. It's awesome. And then he just at one point just spazzed about that bill. Once he spazzed at the bill, they're like, he's all right. Yeah. But he was basically, he said what everyone was thinking. About was, Pinocchio. Yeah. I mean, he kind of called it, dude. Remember like three yeah. years ago when he was like, this is how totalitarian systems emerge. Everyone's like, shut up. Yeah. And all of a sudden it's like, I hope the Show government doesn't papers. freeze my assets. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, I've been Dang watching gummit. the fucking Canadian, uh, I think parliament, I guess they have a parliament or something. Yeah. And they've been yapping, talking dude, shit. Dude, they're fucking. They're like the British. They have a British parliament. Dude, it's, did you, have you been watching those yeah. things? When there's they, clips of them talking shit. Oh, my God. The conservatives are so funny. Yeah. They did like When they did, the, they had a whole Jewish off. Because Trudeau yeah, came and was like, I'm not saying. Cause it, basically, they were like, dude, you didn't even go talk to the truckers. Trudeau was basically like, they're Nazis. Yeah. In more or less. He was like, they're associate, they're supporting Nazis, blah, blah, blah. I don't know that anything. And then like a lady with a. You would think she'd be a lib. She had a wild hairdo. And I was like, oh, I guess because their colors are reversed. I saw her. Was she the one demanding an apology? Huh? Yeah, she, yeah, she, was, she was Jewish. She's like, as a Jewish woman, I find very blah, 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 blah. And the guy, dude, people started busting out like, my great grandfather was, and like the, the liberals were like, well, my grandfather was Jewish. And the one guy fired back with like, I'm half Jewish. And like, I didn't, yeah. they didn't, they actually escaped before the Holocaust, but it was, you know, they still didn't like it. It was a lot, you know, and they were pissed. We demanded it. And Trudeau better apologize, dude. It was a Jewish. <laughs> off. They had a total Jewish off <laughs> which side was more Jewish and who was right. It was so yeah. fucking funny. Yeah. It's, it was uh, great. Yeah. They have British where they all just yell at each other. And then one side's like, Oh, dude, we got them on that one. The conserves oh. and the conserves just talk over when the libs talk, the conserves just like, Boo, like start like, shut <laughs> yeah. up. But, dude, they're they hit Trudeau with like who's like this guy's done blackface more than he can remember. He's gonna say something's racist, dude, and the whole place is just like oh. crushed him, crushed him, dude. He left. He walked out. Yeah, Trudeau walked out. What a sis, dude. Trudeau, coward, 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 retard, complete re <laughs> retard, coward. <laughs> Trudeau's getting he stinks, dude. Yeah, he stinks. He stinks. He does stink. Did you hear that quote of his about like it was old? I was I was watching Bill Maher. Not a big deal. <laughs> Turns out I'm getting psyoped. He's tip of the liberal spear. Rap? What do you mean? Uh, I just was around some some geniuses this weekend. So what are they saying? <laughs> Mullen how's, and Sam Hyde. And I was told that I was a retard. How's he? <laughs> <laughs> Turns out I'm a retard. How's he the tip of the liberal spear? Uh this he's like one of the major talking heads they go through. Of like course. how he's starting to be like, yeah, the vaccines are bad. Yeah, they're they're going to flip flop. Uh, yeah, that's going to naturally, it's naturally going that way. Yeah, and they're going to come out and be like, well, they're going to say, well, the vaccine did its job, and that's why we're at this place today. And then come out and say like, and then we're going to be the good guys to get to repeal everything. That's the big fight right now. Philly's um, still holding out, dude. Hold on, Trudeau had a quote about the anti-vaxxers, and he was like, a lot of them, most of them, or not a lot of them, not most of them. He was like. Many of them are racist, misogynist. Yes. And he's like, and as a leader of a country, you have to decide, do we even tolerate them? And it's like, yo, chill, bro. Oh, he's, what do you mean yeah. tolerate them? Yeah, dude. Are you going to kill them? Dude, it's, yeah, You're that's freeze what. Freeze their assets and put them in camps? He's. <laughs> yeah. Why not? Why not? What you, the hell? you think Trudeau wouldn't lock me? He would fucking throw yeah, me under the would. well, dude. If you got his hands on me. Dude, I'm like a Bond villain in the Canadian Parliament. <laughs> <laughs> what do you Who's think Trudeau guy? would do to you? He would fucking lock me. He would probably disappear my whole family. He'd probably sneak in your house with blackface at night. He would. He'd sneak it for and sure. He'd be like, "This isn't, you know." <laughs> this isn't this, you'd guy. sign a flashlight on him. He'd be like, "No, this isn't what you think it is." <laughs> you're like, God damn it, Justin from Canada, you knock think, it off. Do you think he was special ops? That's why. Probably. He was in deep camo. He kept going to parties still from work. He might have been a spy. <laughs> yeah, he's <was> Castro's <laughs> son, a special agent. I wish I knew anything about Canadian bullshit. Oh, other, you just than gotta, just, other than just going, Trudeau's gay. You just got to watch he, him. Oh, my grandfather fought in World War II, and it's a shame that you'd bring that up. You should apologize. And I've, like, seen oh, that. I've seen those clips. You should apologize. I still don't understand what's happening. Justin Trudeau basically called them all woman-hating Nazis. Yeah. 
And he was like, yo, my grandfather fought in World War II. Paul no, I, I've seen the clips. I'm saying I don't understand what's happening. <laughs> That's what's happening. No, They're no. All, there's the more to it. The Canadians, the, dude, the Canadians <laughs> get together. They tell each other sad stories. Yeah, true. Oh, in 1942, right. my grandfather fell on the shores, and you should really apologize. <laughs> well, Mike, I have, a, I have a sad family story, too, eh? You yeah. should listen to mine. <laughs> it's just sad stories. That's part of it. That was your theory on Canadians. <laughs> they do. That was your theory on Canadians they forever, get, right? They get drunk and they corner you and they're like, I'm having a really tough time. <laughs> yeah. I'm having a tough go at it. Yeah. And they're just like, I'm sorry. Yeah, you're it's so fucking... cold all the time. <laughs> it's like, yeah, it is. We lost our great grandmother a couple of months ago and I've, I've gained <laughs> 10 fucking, pounds. I don't natives, know what to do. The natives keep fucking <laughs> taking our ski or whatever. <laughs> our snowmobiles. <laughs> and now we're not allowed to throw stuff at them anymore. And I'm just confused. I don't know what to do. Yeah, baby. I don't know what to do. Our leader is in blackface. And otherwise, he's a good fellow. But I don't know. <laughs> yeah. It's very confusing. <laughs> yeah, they're sad and confused at all times. They love sorrows. Dude, they have the sorrows. Yeah, dude. they have guilt. They have guilt True. constantly. It's that Canadian guilt. They I'm got- sorry, you know. Very sorry about everything. <laughs> <laughs> bloody. <laughs> what happened? Bloody to my, rule. <laughs> what happened to my great grandmother? It's a tragedy. It's the bloodiest rule. That's what he kept saying. <laughs> really? JP kept calling things bloody and being like, it's the bloodiest. That's, it's a curse. It's like, dude. No, I, I know it is. It's, it's just a, curse. a funny curse I to know. hear. <laughs> so, nobody I'm aware. It's nobody, no, but it's just so funny because it's like, yeah, it's a is curse that word. And everybody use? in America is like, yeah. Why is he talking British? <laughs> what the fuck is this? I, dude, the crowd is just there to be like, say something about cancel culture. For sure. Yeah. But at the end, he gave a very stirring speech. Really? Yeah, he got emotional. He's nice, dude. Yeah. I it like was good. He's got a, he said before he's a, he has a feminine temperament or feminine archetypal temperament or something. Yeah. His personality type. It's a sick way to psychologize being like, I'm kind of fucking gay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty gay. I have a feminine archetype. If you're high in openness, you're running a danger. Of being gay? Of feminine heaven. I, dude, I, I, if you're more interested in people, they say, you more lean yeah, towards. Yeah, chick shit. I have a feminine archetype as well. <laughs> it's fair enough. I mean, uh, it's just, you know, it's difficult. Yeah. <laughs> it's really hard for me. My friends would play with cars and I'd be like, well, what's going on with you, bud? <laughs> <laughs> How's your parents? Yeah. Yeah, dude, I had a guy corner me one time and it wasn't even his problems. He was like. My buddy's wife's a bitch. <laughs> she's so mean to him, and I can't take it. It's tough to watch, and I'm like, you gotta get out of this. And he's like, I can't. You gotta just distract him with hockey. True. Toss it on. <laughs> Toss the puck, and they're like, Oh, who's playing? <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That's all they do. <laughs> uh, it's so fucking funny. <laughs> I wonder if any of the truckers are listening to this now. The truckers? I wonder if anybody sitting in that convoy is listening right now. The truckers are the only ones who don't do it. They're the only ones. They keep their stuff to themselves. They're trying and just so hit the road. Hard. They just yeah. hit the road and they say, like, uh, I gotta get Yeah, right. They're all on the CB all day. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going too fast and I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, they're coming to take our tires off. They fucking moving us with tow trucks. <laughs> I don't want it. <laughs> they're freedom fighters. They are freedom fighters. They are absolute freedom fighters, dude. I had a, I had a rib- I actually moved myself. To, I, I moved myself to the point of tears today, dude. Why? I was in my kitchen just thinking about how much I love my family and my friends and everyone in my country, and I moved myself to tears. I swear <laughs> to God, I choked myself up. I choked myself up. Nice. I was like, I hit the Peloton this morning, and I was like, I just want to keep my body in good shape so I can be around for the people I love as long as I can. And I was like, and I love this country so much, and I literally started to almost cry. Jesus I was like, I'm so, I'm so sad everyone's having a tough time right now. Where are you going? What, what is it? What is it? Your period or I hit, something? I hit the Peloton hard, dude. The Peloton, well, the Peloton releases estrogen. Dude, what, no, it was, a, I had a killer 90s playlist. Oh, it's fucking Goo Goo Dolls. Iris was playing too. That'll get you. That got me. Goo Goo Dolls got me. I was getting Wait, my Wait, which one's Iris? Is that a... Uh... Hold on. And I can't live to Yes, live dude. I, when I was that in got th- me. When I was in third or fourth Damn. grade... I looked at my yearbook at a girl I liked and played Iris <laughs> in my room. And I remember it. I remember it like it was yesterday. Just like <sighs> Karina or <laughs> whatever. Her name That'll was. get you, yeah. man. Iris, Iris got me. Iris is good. It was playing. I had a killer '90s playlist going, and I was like, I was getting Maya ready for school, and I was like, just I just worked out and I felt good about it, and I started being like, man, dude, I fucking love my friends so much. I love my family. I was like, I love my wife. We recently. 
we were working on stuff because we're getting along a lot better. <laughs> <laughs> so I was gonna say you and me just had a talk. No, I'm just joking. It wasn't a bad talk. Nah, I it was. I know they're always listening. It's girl. I know they're, they're, my girl. My girl. My mom. Her mom dude. listens. They yeah. are Sputnik, dude. <laughs> we had a ruski upstairs just now and still on a shelf, dude. dude. You got fuck. You probably got little holes, little spy. Cams, Turns dude. out my girl is not Ukrainian. She is in fact Russian. It's been a psyop, dude. KGB. She pretended to be Ukrainian. She KGB. Now she's now she's like, yes, we must take all of Ukraine. <laughs> it is ours. It is rightfully. Ours. I hear it. she speaks at night. When she's asleep, she's like, yes, no, we like, we do this, no. True. Oh, fuck. We need to extend the planes. This is we an need easy march. The more Ukraine. It's an easy march, right? It's a straight low land right into the capital. We, we need the, the, capital. the capital of Kiev. <laughs> we need the whole Russian. <laughs> what the fuck do they need shit for? Because it's you can just walk right into their cap. They need a long, fu- they need to make Bro. that a long fucking walk. <laughs> You keep what talking you f- about buffer states like it's fucking World War II, bro. I, I am World War II, dude. I'm reading fucking <laughs> yeah, hell, Goodbye wait, Darkness. Finish the book. I'm reading Goodbye Darkness. I'm all yeah. about. I'm all. About, I'm stuck in the fucking Eastern Front, dude. No, guys it's not like the me, Eastern Front. That's guys the- like me, dude. I'm saying I'm in fucking Papua New Guinea, dude. <laughs> yeah, that's not these. That's that's the Pacific Theater. Yeah, that's way east, China ways. That's well for us. That was our Western Front. True, but I try to use the language of like the East. Try to be respectful. I, I th- the Eastern Front is Russia. And- True, they can't. Yeah, they flew from California. I get what you're saying. But no, at the, the East- same time, dude, it all becomes the same thing. It's <laughs> it is a, the circle. Oh, you're saying it's not the there. It's not complete. flat. Dude? The circle's complete. You're saying there it's not flat. Or, dude, it's fucking a ball. It's a ball. Yeah. So when you're going east, <laughs> eventually, guess what, dude? You're gonna get west. True. So technically, yeah, Russia and Germany was the Western Front. I mean, what even was the Western Front? Dude? No one even knows. So they okay. Well, so they call that. What do they call that's that? That's the Eastern Front. That's the, the war in that you're thinking the Pacific Theater. P- Pacific Theater. Yeah. Yes. I was calling Goodbye it West. Darkness is the Pacific. I was calling. I was just saying it was William West. Manchester. Yeah, dude. Shit rules, dude. That was it's the so, best one. So good, man. Everybody wants to do, wants to give Sledge all the credit for the best Pacific book. Nah, William Manchester. He's got a huge dong too. Yeah, he talks about it. What dong, the fuck, dude. dude? He talks he, about banging. First, it's crazy. Yeah, he just drops in like I guess I was cursed with this huge penis that I got a cool yeah, nickname. He talks about and, whacking off. They called him tripod in college, yeah. dude. And he's <laughs> pissed. Unit. He's pissed, dude. The level to which back then it was not cool to be gay was, dude. They were they were it was an eighty year sentence. You got caught <laughs> sucking in the military. They'd lock you away for yeah. eighty years, dude. You'd be jag court, and they'd be like, "Gay," and you would and go you'd away go, for eighty years. Jackpot! <laughs> I'm headed to suck heaven, uh, <laughs> dude. He wrote a nice little trilogy on Churchill. Really? Like fucking three books that are like that, dude. <sighs> it's upstairs. He's a you master. He's you a master wordsmith. He really is. He's a great writer. He, it's fantastic. That's the dude. difference between him and Sledge. Sledge's book mm. was about. He wrote it as a memoir for like his family. Yeah. And then they published it. So it's not like it's like well written and it's not well I mean it's well written but it's all like sledges is very like it's very he doesn't like curse it's very like yeah. the morale was low yeah it's not like my friend just fucking blew up and my, his guts were on me turned to goo yeah, yeah. like Manchester's dude. Manchester's dark dude just like me true it is <laughs> That's why yeah. I'm wearing the black hat <laughs> one sick twisted joker to I'm another. a bit of a black hat myself <laughs> even though I just look like Jr from WWE. <laughs> Wow. Oh my god, we're doing the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Not the flute, not the flute. He's got a family. <laughs> Dude, the funniest part. Oh god, it's an ad read. <laughs> <laughs> my god. <laughs> the funniest part in that book is when he's talking about a girl beating him up. <laughs> he's talking about a girl beating him up and how turned on he gets. Yeah. She's stra- he's like she was in what's, what was called the female dominant position. That's, yeah, wait, that's the one that opens with him shooting a guy, a Japanese dude that shits his pants, and, <laughs> and then he pisses himself. Yeah, he like charges it. Yeah, and then he pisses. Yeah, yeah he like throws up. up and pisses his pants. Yeah, they yep. don't talk about that. They don't have that in Saving Private Ryan. No, a guy dude. kills a guy and shits himself and throws like, up. And oh pisses. fuck! Oh fuck! Oh fuck! Oh fuck! Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, what I mean, dude. That's why Thin Red Line's the goat movie. Yeah, I guess. It's, it's a little, I mean, it's still, you know, it's still a movie. Yeah. But it's a little darker. That's pretty Versus sweet. Saving Private Ryan, that's like, come on, give the letter to my family. Yeah. I'm Vin Diesel. Dude, the funniest is how they. I'm get- Tom Hanks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was fucking not a strong male role model, I'll tell you that. 
Tom not Hanks. a strong, no. not a strong male role model. Poor dude, Chad. we gotta Chad, get Chad, Chad on the pod, dude. dude. Chad, dude, we under, people you. are trying to tear him up, being like, "Okay, Tom Hanks isn't a strong male role model." It's like that actor, that actor, yeah, exactly, alleged, <laughs> <laughs> alleged actor. <laughs> Why did he take a picture of a glove on his Instagram? What the fuck, uh, dude? I, but I'll say that's not a strong male role model, dude. No, acting like a fool. What was that one movie where he played a fool? Yeah, he played, yeah, he played, fool. A, played the fool that ran. That's a see, running fool. Dude, I always see Vin Diesel finally get his Emmy nod when he goes. When Vin Diesel goes full retarded for the Emmy, <laughs> <laughs> for Fast and Furious. <laughs> dude, there was a while that there was like almost a trope in Hollywood. People were making fun of that. Like if you did, yeah, a person with like a disability, Just drop it thunder. Drop it thunder, dude. You never go full retard though. True. Yeah. Sean Penn and I am Sam never go full retard. He crushed it. He did. He crushed it. I want to see Vin. Go all the way. <laughs> see Vin go all Vin's the way. gone all the way, dude. <laughs> Vin's already. You think he lives his life? Quarter life. Quarter life. <laughs> you think his life fucking a pair of sweatpants at a time? <laughs> uh-huh, <dude. laughs> yeah. Vin, dude, don't sleep on the fact. Guess how many followers Vin Diesel has on Instagram? 22 million. 78 million followers. <laughs> He's the most fa- Every foreigner loves Fast and Furious. This is true. This is true. Yeah. He's the most famous dude. That's true. I mean, before your whole culture sinks into kind of like hip irony, all you have yeah. is like, that guy's so strong and fast. No, I'm strong and fast. Guess how many followers oh. Tom Hanks has? 32 million. 9.3, dude. <laughs> Vin Diesel. That's not a strong male role Hanks. model. That's not a strong male role Vin model. Vin Diesel probably has the most followers on Instagram. <laughs> dude, that fucking rules. Yeah. That's yeah, awesome. Everybody loves Fast and Furious. What is this? Is his thing just him being like, I'm so grateful today, like flexing his bicep? Can you imagine being in China and seeing Fast and Furious? Oh, it must be crazy. <laughs> it must be fucking crazy. <laughs> Dude, it must. The, the movie reviews are probably so fucking funny. Yeah, so fast. It's, it's very fast. exciting. It's a very exciting movie. Very fast. Exciting. Yeah, even faster. Well, it's also the movie reviews are probably purely written by like the production company. So I hear publish this and they're like, oh, very good business. I wonder who's got Vin Diesel beat. Who has the most? Look up who has the most. It's probably someone you would even probably think some of. Probably babe, dude. Yeah, it's, it's definitely a hot chick. Second, first is I hot bet, chick. What's, what, what's her name? Uh, Kanye. Is Kim. I think Kim Kim's has the gotta most? be a lot. <clears throat> look up who the female who has the most. It's definitely a hot chick. It might be one you've never even heard of, dude. Eh, no, probably not. It's probably, oh, it probably was Kim Kardashian. I just DM'd Kim Kardashian. Holy shit. Kim Kardashian, 287. 287? Vin Diesel's killing her. No, he only had 70. Oh, he has 287 she has 287, million? dude. What? She's got basically the population of the she United States. She commands a country of sluts, dude. Yeah. I see why. That's a lot of fucking good God. I'd fight for her. Good googly I'd fight. I'd, I'd move fight next for door. Her. I'd fight for her. Would you kiss it? Dude. I'd go. What I would do is I'd go. Yes. Yeah, yeah ma'am. I'd go, ma'am, put some clothes on. <laughs> <laughs> you look like a fucking idiot. That must be. I'd be blushing though. If you saw her, just having or like if you're having sex with like a mega model, <laughs> I'd be blush. Bl- I'd be blushing like. Oh. Where do I do go? <laughs> I would enter and go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it feels so good. It feels oh, so shucks. fucking good. You've probably been with a lot of guys who are bigger than me. You've probably been with guys who are way bigger than me. <laughs> You have 287 million followers. Oh, fuck. I'm fucking going. Oh, my God. You have so many followers. Let me see. I think Ariana Grande might be number one, which that, uh, that leads me. I don't like that. That's going to chap KK's ass, dude. What'd she have? 287? Pete. Pete's, Pete's just, got both of them. She's geez. a 295. Ariana Grande's a 295. Who has the most? There has to be. I think it's Ariana Grande. 290. Do you think she has the most? There has to be someone who has more than her. The Rock. The Rock's sitting at, the Rock's sitting at a lot. Who has the most? Cristiano Ronaldo. Nice. Soccer player. Yeah. How was he got like 300? It was like 700 million. Whoa. Oh. He's got 400 mil. And Kylie Jenner has 300. Lionel Messi has 306. So the dude, who's the most? The dude, Cristiano Ronaldo, has the most? Yeah, Ronaldo has the most. The Rock's most. sitting at 299. Loser. <laughs> Boo. Probably no lost No more like- cheat meals, dude. <laughs> <laughs> He needs to go all the way with the gear, dude. No more of this like legal limits testosterone stuff. He needs to start abusing gear <laughs> and take I over. Think he might be abusing gear <laughs> pretty intensely, dude. Wait, does he claim to like use steroids responsibly? Uh, he's probably claiming he's on. Uh, TRT, they probably yeah. don't talk about it, dude. His, did you saw him at the Super Bowl? No, dude. His bicep was 
It was ridiculous. Really? But yeah. He's standing on the field before kickoff, screaming, having a fucking rage, dude. He's like, take the fucking ball. What? It's time. Jeez. But he was like <laughs> doing that shit to the camera. Was, was he really? Yeah, and his arm was like, it was the most preposterous looking dude I've ever seen. So that's just him going out and just fucking flexing and being like, it's the Super Bowl. Yeah. And every every dumb fuck in America was like, it's the rock. Yeah, yes. I got I got bummed out. I was walking this day of the Super Bowl, the day of the bowl. I was coming back from food shopping and I'm, I am I had parked like far away. So I'm walking up this little street near my house and I saw right into this. It's like a big gargantuan house near my house. And it was a guy standing in front of a gigantic screen. Just standing in front of in front of his TV, watching a Super Bowl commercial, and I was just like, just deflated me. Yeah. I was just like, Dude, they have- not to be, I don't have to be a dick, but it's just like there would be like a Debbie Downer, but it's like, just the whole thing, like, dude, I can't You're wait to see, the, dude. can't wait to see the commercials. It's like, really? Yeah, the commercials are terrible. It's just celebrities. Well, it was just a guy who was like, he, dude, he's like, he's living in a house. It's almost a million dollars. Yeah. Staring at a fucking t- watching a commercial. He's like, I did it, and he's just watching a commercial, just like. <laughs> get to the top of the mountain and be like did you see the new sprite commercial with lebron james with it was really funny i don't know i don't again i don't want to be a jerk because again whatever you do it's fun but i i it did deflate me on some level no i'd I'd love to get pumped for commercials. i'm a bit of a thomas manchester if i gotta say myself who's that or who's the guy from manchester who, wrote the, who, wrote who the, is it thomas manchester who do you think it is it might i'm thinking of his cousin what's the guy's name <laughs> <laughs> whoever wrote the, whatever the manchester is who wrote the book i'm a bit of a manchester William. William, a bit of a William Manchester. William Manchester. Dude, how about when he gets fucking kicked out of the officer school? Yeah. He's like, I didn't come here to do the same chicken shit fucking bullshit that started this war. He's like, I'm out. Send me to my father's platoon. They're like, no. Yeah, it's because <laughs> his father fuck? was in World War One. Yeah. yeah, that's right. Dude, that was like <laughs> just the level of to which dudes had to hold themselves to was crazy back then. Yeah. You had to be. He was a flaming heterosexual by his words. He was, I'm a, you had to be so fucking horny. But you can't fap, and yeah, then you got to be a Christian gentleman. But you can't. But then you have to also go and like stab dudes in the fucking stomach. Yeah, but then also like fuck whores. Yeah, some. Yeah, you think they all did it? I think they all. Well, like, that was wartime. I'm talking back no, at home. But back at home, they, like when they were in San Diego and shit, they'd be like, "Oh, I know this girl. She'll go all. She'll go all the way she'll with go you." Go all the way. And he couldn't get a pass, and somebody else went and went all the way with her. Really? Yeah. That's good. No, they. But you couldn't fap though. But even dude. His he dad just, claimed. Sneak faps, his dad dude. claimed he's like I never even heard of it. They fapped. He was like he was like they fapped. He's like I asked my dad to give me the low down on fapping. <laughs> so he says yeah. my dad went. I never heard of that until I was in the military and some like doctor told us about it. Yeah. We're all like, what the hell? What yeah. the hell are they talking no, about? No, they found out. I figured it out in like fourth grade. I was like, you just. You, I went to school. Like you guys ever like make your hand like this? Yeah, but dude, that back then, if you got caught fapping, your dad would pull you out of bed by your neck and just beat the shit out of you. What are you talking about? Back in World War Two, <laughs> dude. You got, you, you Where was, the fuck are you getting this from? That book, dude. Dude, they said if the guy would come out, what? The what the hell? hell? Is that Domino's? <laughs> I hope Domino's. <laughs> Should we pause? No, no. She'll. Yeah, you'll get the it. The lady will take care of it. Well, she'll fucking get that. Um, dude, here's where I'm getting that from. This drill sergeant would come out every day. This is from the book. The guy would be like. I want to let you guys, I want to let you little shitheads know that there was a report on like some military base of a guy sucking another guy. Yeah. Let you know they're in jail for 80 years. All right. None of that bullshit. So they were getting, you were going to jail for 80 years for sucking. He could have been fibbing that drill sergeant uh, well, to try to make people not suck. But apparently he did find out about a guy in his platoon who sucked. Yes. And he said they, he heard that they went away to jail. Yeah. 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 So they got sent, they got sent away. You would probably go to jail for sucking. I think they were in the sent military. military jail, yeah. dude. I mean, it wasn't wasn't it illegal? They just never enforced it. And no, but I mean, like military legally, there was don't ever, don't even ask. It's like it's not a thing. But no, but I mean now, like recently, like while we've been alive, there's been states that it's like sodomy is illegal. Oh and that yeah, that was yeah. just to arrest gay dudes. Yeah, but I'm dude. I'm, I I thought that was real. Like they were sending gay. If you got caught sucking on military property, I'm sure you did. You got dis, you got dishonorably dude, discharged. They were saying eighty years, dude. Life sentence. Maybe. I <laughs> Life don't think that's sentence. true, but maybe. I, do you think Manchester would lied? I think maybe he told a story about a drill sergeant lying to say, uh, "You guys better not suck. We'll kill you." I don't know. Was he was saying that he's like there was guys going. The way I read it was like you would go if you sucked, you went to jail. 
Yes, and you, you went to jail, pervert. but not for 80 years. Yeah, but they didn't even know. They were just like, dude, you believe there's guys? Like, dude, I think guys are doing this. And they're yeah. like, like, he got caught. He went to fucking sex pervert <laughs> jail for 80 years. Yeah, there's, yeah, our parents didn't know what fucking sucking dudes was. <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah, but it's just that's funny. Why they, you, that's why you call dad a faggot. And he's like, what'd you fucking say? That's to what me? I'm saying. That's, it I'm was, not going to jail for 80 years. <laughs> <laughs> that's what, that's yeah. what I was trying to put it. That's what put it into perspective for me. It was like, oh, these were the state. This is what the states yeah. back then. It was like, if you were the least bit, if you like didn't know. Also, William play, Manchester fapped, dude. Hard. Oh, he definitely did. Dude, he he, fapped he covered in blood. He, but that's that's shock. That's shock. That's, yeah, but I mean, he fapped. He did. He admitted it. He fapped so, as soon as he got as soon as his boys were eviscerated. He was like, "Oh, nice, I'm alone." That, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> that's you were with. You were in a family of ten. You're always with people your whole life. Family of ten into the military. There's no time to fap. As soon as your boys all got blew up in the jungle, you were like, oh, <laughs> yeah, "Jackpot." Yeah. Me time. <laughs> Yeah, there was uh, there was certainly fapping. Fapping's a tale as old as time. True, but the stakes were so like you couldn't even talk to your boys about it. About fapping? Yeah, yeah, you get punched in the belly. <laughs> <laughs> that was making me laugh so hard. It was like the ideals back then were so fucking funny. Like as a dude, it was like questionable going to the doctor. They'd be like, "Going to the doctor?" I mean, I I would I hold that. <laughs> yeah. I I still keep that standard. Going. I know that's where it came from. Yeah, that's where it you came. Better from. not go to the doctor. What are you a <laughs> sissy? The dude, the, yeah. his dad's arm was like blown off from the war. And he'd be like, if you're like, here, let me get that for you. But like, get the fuck off! I'm not like, gay. <laughs> I'm not going to jail for eighty years because you cut up my fucking meat, you bitch. <laughs> dude, it was killing me. I for some reason I had this like wordless flash of just like it all makes sense to me. Just why all dudes are the way they are now. And it's like, Jesus Christ, what a fucking... I mean, it's a double nightmare. Because t- then today, dude, so I fucking... I did a Peloton this morning. 6.30 a.m. I do the... I do By the two, way, they wouldn't have taken kindly to that. Bro, you would have seen the Peloton ride I took. I do 2000s jams. I'm like, oh, this would be nice. I'm thinking yeah. I'm going to get like, I don't know, whatever the fuck they were playing back then. Some cool Smash Mouth. Like, da, 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 yeah, dude, you think I'm going to get some like cool stuff? <laughs> I go on. The guy's like, all right, Peloton gang, let's go. And I was like, all right. He starts playing Lady Gaga. And I'm like, I think this is a gig. I think this guy, I think this guy's yeah. in danger of 80 years. <laughs> <laughs> but I was like, I, I, pretty much all guys are kind of gay now. So maybe not. And then it's like, and then he, all of a sudden, <laughs> we the Peloton. And the song comes on. And he goes. <laughs> oh. I was like, oh, this, oh my God. This, this guy is for Why sure. Why do they dance? Dude, this guy. This Every guy. Peloton, other dude, other than Alex Trusant. Thank you, bro. Goat. There's another they guy. All I have to remember this other guy's name. He's he fucking rules. No, no, Alex Trusant. The black girls dude. dance. There's one girl with an afro, light skin chick. She's hot. Yeah, but she's not a good dancer at all. Dude, what's well, hard and to dance on a bike? First, yeah, it's of all. A, yeah, true. Except for Trusant gets it. I, I, I gave her get it. Trusant. I'm not saying get it, Paul. Trusant gets it. He on does the bike. that. He, he's like, we're gonna move up to two, and three, two. Oh yeah. Whips. <laughs> when they, dude, I gotta remember that there's a white guy who's he does the Eminem artist series. He's the funniest fucking. You say dude. he's breaking down lyrics, dude. He breaks down lyrics. I I did his other one. That's just uh, dude. He does these other rock rides. I did a 30, 45 minute ride with him. Oh. He'll start talking. He'll be like, it's pretty much full circle. Circle's complete. Let's ride. And he'll like, dude. Oh. It makes no. It's so. But hey, Peloton family. He's so funny. Lock in. Let's ride, dude. <laughs> every, at the end of the workout, at the end of the Fuck. one workout, at the end of the one workout, he goes uh. He's like, hey, gang, be careful. Or he goes, guys, be good. And if you can't be good, be careful. <laughs> but, dude, so this guy. <laughs> dude, I'll, half the time. And that's with Toussaint. Even, that's the only guy I could do. Anytime I try, like I tried that chick with the fro. And I literally, while I'm, I'm like. This sucks. Dude, I'm going to give you the guy I took. Like, dude, the guy I took was. <laughs> so this was another annoying. level. This was another level, dude. Yeah. It was like, he goes on. He's just like. We're sitting, I don't know where I'm like, I'm like, I don't know. It's hard to tell if guys are gay anymore. And I'm like sitting there and he goes, just so you know, I did Gaga, Beyonce, Gaga, Beyonce. And I was like, oh, this is def- this guy's <laughs> yeah, gay, gay as hell. This guy's so gay. gay. So I'm like, all right, fair enough. <laughs> Dude, admit it, admittedly, I just want to get back to my normal guy. Yeah. I, I was trying to exit. <laughs> yeah, you got to exit, bro. <laughs> I couldn't get out. I it's couldn't hard get out. To and exit I, didn't wanna, I was things. like, I'm already making fucking progress. I'm tearing up these hills. It, it was like right off the bat. And I'm like. It wasn't. It wasn't the fact that it bothered me. He was gay. It was the music selection sucked so music bad. Music selection's unbelievable. It was bad. fucking Gaga, and the music's a big part. Yeah. So I'm like, you, you need know, the vibe, dude. Dude, I need the vibe. He, he all of out of nowhere, he would just be like, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he would do choreographed dance moves. I'm like, dude, <laughs> it's six thirty in the morning. I'm like, stop. Dude. It's so stop. bad. <laughs> it was so funny, and then he would just be like. 
I, I'm like zoning out. I'm sitting there and all of a sudden he's like, yeah, I just said something about Jamie Lynn Spears. I promised I wouldn't, but I did anyway. Let's ride Peloton. Turn I'm like, why is this 40 year old man being so mean to Britney Spears? Why is he a bitch about Jamie Lynn? <laughs> Sorry, I'm being a bitch. Lock in Peloton. He was such a bitch. He was being such a bitch. Let's go, family. Dude, he was such a bad boy. He was a gay bad boy. And I, it was just killing me all morning. Dude, I'm trying to fucking get my... I'm trying to break my PR. Yeah, it, it bothers me when the, like, the girls are like, you know I got to push it the hardest. I always push so hard. And it's like, dude, we're doing a fucking spin class. Yeah, can we stop? Shut the fuck <laughs> can up. Can we stop? You're doing although, this so you can get a fat ass to get banged. Although my, my heart rate. I've been pushing my <laughs> Knock heart it rate. off. I've been pushing my heart rate to yeah. the max on that thing, dude. My Apple Watch almost exploded, dude. Really? Short circuit. Like, it was like, dude, what? Too much, dude. Crazy. Compute. <laughs> <laughs> the gay 100, chart. 137 heart rate. This is how gay down. you were last week. <laughs> dude, this guy, it was, he kept going in. Finally, he switched. It was, it was Beyonce and Britney Spears. And then it switched to, no, no, it was Beyonce and Lady Gaga. Then it went to uh, Britney Spears and Madonna. He was going back to back doing them. And yeah. dude, every you time. You got hit exit, dude. I, can't, I couldn't get out of it. And by sure, then I was, I was bought. <laughs> you're like one of those. You go to a gay bar and you're like, "What? It's fun." <laughs> I like. I like the music oh, here. Sorry, I get free drinks. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> I was also number third in the leaderboard. I'd never been up that high, so I, I was just me. I was like, oh, "This is a secret." I'm just battling gay guys, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> who I thought would just be slaying me. You was, would expect that. It was two ladies. I was, dude. I was you smoked with those ladies. It was the the tears were. Whoever was below me, and me and two people were in our own tier. I was the top of that, and there was two fifty. Tier one ladies. operator. I was tier two. There's two ladies who were in t- they were like sixty <laughs> resistance the whole time, just slaying me. I mean, you put on the Gaga for the sixty year old ladies. It's over. They were killing it, but dude, at one point he was like, "I'm just saying, if Britney Spears is on Oprah, which she should do, that would be amazing. I'm not saying it's going to happen, but it would be a juicy scoop. Let's ride." <laughs> <laughs> what <laughs> I'm the fuck? There like, what the fuck, man? What is this? Send me this guy, dude. Dude, I'll sit. (laughs) Yo, just for research purposes. I don't care about that stuff, but I wouldn't mind hearing about a juicy scoop while I'm fucking while I'm out of breath. Like, <laughs> dude, it was all hills. Is that the workout? Is a good workout. Yeah. It was all hills. Almost yeah, it's broke. Getting my... your ass ready for dick, dude. <laughs> dude. You gotta strengthen that fucking haunch. Yeah, just to squeeze it in. <laughs> I, dude, true. If I did that every day, dude, I I might be seeking juicy scoops, dude. <laughs> That's what I'd be doing on the belt. I'd say, what the hell is going on? <laughs> this whole conversation, this is what I was bugging out on. This whole conversation is framed in just World War II guys being like, I'm not fucking gay. Yeah. And it's been 80 years. And we're still like, no, but seriously, though, it was kind of weird when I was on the belt. Yeah. <laughs> dude, I was seriously like, get me out of this, dude. Have you gotten to the where they start, like, when they get a hold of dudes' wives' pictures and girlfriends' pictures? No. <sighs> Fap City, <laughs> dude. Those those steal. I'm sure the boys are still operating this way. <laughs> Somebody will get a letter with a wife, like a girlfriend's, a, the sweetheart back home. She seals it with a kiss, dude. Mm. Some red lipstick. Somebody will steal it immediately. Whoever the male guy is just goes through and steals everybody's porn. Fuck. And then they all pass it around and whack off to it. And then it finally gets to the guy who's like wife is like, I miss you so much. It's just covered in jizz. <laughs> He's like, I want to go home. <laughs> Yeah, they had a negative experience over there on the Eastern Front. <laughs> that Red Cross shit was wild too. How the red, how the red, how the Red Cross would come and try to like sell shit to people. Who, yeah, yeah. The dad bunch, hated the Red Cross. <laughs> you'd be laying. There was a bunch of injured soldiers like dying, and the Red Cross would come through and be like, "Y'all sell you guys." They would like sell Lucy's and just like rip people, rip like injured vets off. Yeah, the dad, the dad was in his William Manchester's dad oh. was in World War One. He got fucking hurt and uh, <laughs> he got fucked up. He yeah, he got died. fucking drilled. Yeah, they thought he was going to die. Yeah. He like was like at one point a week later was like, Ugh! they're like Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> yeah, like, oh fuck, that guy's still here. Like, Get him out of here. <laughs> yeah. God, he stinks. Uh, but he hated the Red Cross and he instilled that in William. Dude, I hate the Red Cross. I'm gonna fight, yeah. dude. Next time I see right? him, isn't that the case? Wasn't his dad yes, the one that yes. was like, "Fuck the Red Cross." Fuck those guys, dude. He was in a hospital with them for like he said, three. Years. He said Salvation Army was <laughs> yeah. tight. He's like Sal Army rules. <laughs> Red Cross is bullshit. Yeah. Oh wait, guys, Matt, why don't you hit this one? Let me read. It. Let me do this. It's time for you, dude. To get right, let, me do, let me in. let me fucking come into the bay time. Hey Shane, what do you hate about smoking, and how is Lucy helping? you I don't smoke, smoke at all, but I'm addicted <laughs> to nicotine because of pouches like this. Go ahead. I'll tell you what, dude. <laughs> I'll tell you something. Lucy makes all sorts of nicotine products like gum, lozenges, and pouches. 
Lucy is a better, more responsible way to consume nicotine. You hear that? Guard dog's a chimney. You hear that, guard dog? Hey, guard dog, do you yeah. ever suffer from, like, crushing anxiety at the looming specter of your death? Yeah, I'll try. to suck on a Lucy lozenge. That'll save you. That'll calm, that'll calm you down, dude. Next time you're lately, like, honestly. I'm going to fucking die one day or get old and become debilitated. I should just fucking do a lozenge. Yeah. I might. That'll, cu- that'll take the jitters away, dude. Yeah, just think of William Manchester. <laughs> yeah. He, he Jacking off it. in a crater filled with his friend's blood and guts. You know yeah, what he could have used at that point? Yeah. Lucy, a lozenge. True, dude. Yeah, be like, oh, oh, what are you scared of mouth cancer? You fucking pussy. Shut up. People <laughs> died so you could do this, dude. So you could get some very safe nicotine. Check out the full line of products at lucy.co. That's lucy.co. And use the promo code drenched at checkout. Warning, this product contains nicotine. Nicotine is an addictive chemical, yeah, but you already. But that. that's just the current science, so we'll fi- we'll see what happens. Yeah. <laughs> if but, you're interested, yeah, in a better but you already way. knew that. <laughs> but you already. Did knew it, that. Does it have? No, they took it out. Oh, oh that's the best if, part. If you're interested, nicotine <laughs> is addictive, <laughs> but you already knew that. <laughs> if you're interested in a better way to use nicotine, go to Lucy.co and make sure to use that promo code Drenched. Support the show and get 20% off the code trenched at lucy.co. Wow. Thanks a lot, Lucy. Appreciate you. Appreciate hey, you. Lucy. Thanks. I'm going to start chewing. I'm going to start chewing a uh, beetle Much nut. Much obliged, Lucy. I'm going to start chewing beetle nut. What's, what's going or on chot. with beetle nut, Matt? That's that stuff they chew down. Matt, uh, tell me about some beetle nut. Beetle nut and chot. <laughs> it's like a, it's like a almost a nicotine type thing. They, they were chewing it down in uh, Papua New Guinea. Oh yeah, you chew yeah, some yeah. beetle nut. It's that like red thing that you you put lime on your tongue and it breaks it down. Dude, I've been telling you about and it like the fucking teeth. fuzzy wuzzies for so long. Dude, you it's this is the the craziest part of the book. Every I'm reading it, I'm going, oh, that's a chainsaw. Yeah, about. I'm like this shit is fucking nuts. It's the coolest stuff ever. It unsettles you. It does. Like I'll I'll put it down and lay down. And I'm just like, oh Jesus. Yeah, Christ. you can't you can't even fathom what people have done. It's fucked up. It's absolutely, and then with the stuff you were saying too about like Japanese were truly up to no good. Yeah, dude, they were they were a full fucking maniacal force. Yeah, they're they're they were evil. Uh, through their own dude, their own guys too, just sending them into the jungle yeah. and pushing. Like these dudes were dying. It was crazy. Yeah, yeah man, I, I was. I'm not even. I'm a quarter of the way into the book, and I was just like, Jesus. I just tossed in a Lucy. By the way, did you really? Yeah. You should zoom in on that and go like, ba 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 ba, just a nice fucking. Yeah, my mouth. Thanks, Lucy. Thanks, thanks to Lucy, things are looking up for me. You might be, you might be the new Marlboro. I might be the Marlboro man for Lucy. Just. Are you tired of dipping? In public and people don't like you. Have Everybody a Lucy. thinks it's gross. <laughs> the poll's in. Everyone thinks dipping. Everyone's is gross. mad, and you're not going to get pussy from dipping at comedy clubs. So it's time to do Lucy, cowboy. Time to do Lucy. You can also you can tell chicks it's ketamine. Put it in a yeah, bag. Yeah, you can. Yeah, they won't know. They won't. Girls have no idea what drugs are. <laughs> they don't, yeah. Girls don't get high. Girls don't get high. They First don't. off, they're all on Adderall. True. So they take Molly, and they're like, I don't even feel it. It's like yes, because you're on. 50 milligrams of Adderall every True. day. Yeah, you're like a little Japanese but soldier getting fucking... Honestly, if I was a girl, <laughs> if I was a girl, I'd be tossing an Adderall all day. Yeah, you might as well. It's you solving don't eat, your problems, yeah. You don't eat your high energy, you clean shit. It's literally the girl drug. It's That's red pill, blue pill for girls. It's fat and tired <laughs> or skinny and tweaked. Yeah. Which one do you want? It's your, it's your two options in life. Skinny and tweaked is tight. Yeah. Just run around like, I gotta pick this up. I gotta pick this up. <laughs> like, yes, clean, clean. You know, if your Pinterest is just yeah, just ripping just, Pinterest. This is nice. This is a yeah, nice if you're thing. fat and tired, yeah, your room is all messy, and you're just fat like, and oh. tired, lady. Get out of here, <laughs> beat it. Scram, although, although, scram, get, mongrel. <laughs> <laughs> although, you can get a nice, fat and tired lady, nice and comfortable. Yeah, get a blanket on her, some TV, and she'll. Put that snail on you, dude. She will open up like a flower with a wet snail. You get her some pig. You get, her some pig. <laughs> you get a big, fat, and tired. You get a fucking get thick some, snail on your leg. Put on a fucking movie and hit her with some takeout, dude. She'll, fucking, she'll just ooze over toward you. 
<laughs> you just you suck just, the cum right in. You just the slut, you dude. You just <laughs> suck into her hole, dude. <laughs> so you gotta be careful. But again, a skinny tweaker oh, will. A skinny tweaker will. She'll blow you for forty-five minutes. <laughs> 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 oh my god, I have so much Adderall. Come back from a Peloton class all sweaty. Yeah. Like, oh. Wow, you did so good on the gay bike. <laughs> you didn't get hard at all for that gay man. Oh. <laughs> I didn't get hard. I was soft as fuck. Uh, you can't, you can't get hard on I Peloton. Then, dude, fuck, I stand dude. up. You stand up. You lean forward a little. Dick's gone. You got a nub. There's just a thick dick gay dude dancing in front of you. You got a nub. You're dancing to fucking be my lover. Wanna be my lover. Dude, literally, it just be. Anyway, Peloton fam, turn it. It was just like we're gonna crank this thing up. <laughs> you thought I was gonna take it easy on you this week? <laughs> Peloton fam, limit. you gotta work. Push to your limit. I love my Peloton fam though. Oh, dude, I give. High, I, I'm the only one giving out high fives, dude. Yeah, they don't like no it. No one's giving. I'm, I'm high five. Well, you're probably. Everybody. Are you high fiving uh, people here now or just the leaderboard? Here now. All right, nice. Here now, yeah, I'm doing here now, and I'm doing it like all my people. You, you hit know? high fives hard. I do. I go hard. High fives are fun. We do. I didn't know you could FaceTime. We FaceTime. We, yeah, but it's echoey. We got to figure out. Yeah, we'll figure it out. But yeah, FaceTime on the Peloton is fun. I always get paranoid. They can just see my face I know. all the time. It's I laughing. Know. There's it's somewhere the Chinese deep state is putting together a nice montage of me lifting my shirt while on the Peloton to wipe my face. <laughs> just a fat gut and tits. Mine was just me. Like, That's going to be worse. I was just mocking my gay instructor the whole time. Like, <laughs> 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 I'm not gay at all. Turn my resistance. <laughs> Let me stand up. Do you ever try to do the dance when Trisant when Alex Tucson sure. tells you to do the rock forward? I've tried Fine, to do. Man. I've tried it's to so like. Hard. I try to. I try to sync my knees to the rhythm at least. That's a good one yeah. to get going. Fucking sync to the beat. Yeah. But yeah, dude, that was shocking this morning. Of just like turning on, being like, "All right, they'll be playing." I was like thinking they're gonna play like like '90s alternative stuff. Yeah. It was just fucking Beyonce and. Lady Gaga. And it's like... What do you think, think of the Queen Bee, dude? Let me lean forward. Now that my face is to you, I'd like to hear what you think about the Queen Bee. I, I've said this to uh, my wife. My wife's a big fucking... I forget what Beyonce's fans are called. Yeah. The Beehive. Beehive. Big, she's a big part of the Beehive and also second tier level of the Navy, Rihanna's uh, slot army. That's really the Navy. Rihanna's the Navy. Is that uh, true? Yeah, Rihanna's fan base is called the Navy. Look it up. Is that because she was in the? Is that because she was in the hit movie Battleship? <laughs> I don't know. That what? must have been a smash hit. In was China. she really in Battleship? China, they must have been like video game is real. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what the movie is. They made a movie Battleship of like F seven. Like, like they played the game Battleship versus like aliens or something. What? Yeah, it was starring uh, Rihanna. Dude, I saw the movie Warrior. Oh yeah. Good God. What's that? I feel like somebody told me it was good. What is it? <laughs> I feel like someone told me it was good. <laughs> it's the worst. It's They're the craziest so movie I've ever seen. That's Tom Hardy, right? It's Tom Hardy. And Bale's in it, too. Looking. No, okay. it's not Bale. Oh, that's Fighter. That's Fighter. That's a good one. That one's good. This <laughs> warrior Callan's is... and Warrior. Callan and plays Rogan. Yeah. Callan what? plays Rogan. In Warrior? Yeah, they do yeah. a war. They do a do MMA Atlantic tournament. Sit up for this. They do an MMA tournament. It's like a, except it's like called Sparta. They do every, but like it's every, fake. It's not They real. do everything that's like yeah. So they do. Uh, this one guy is Tom Hardy's like a hard ass former Marine. Hates his dad. The dad's Nick Nolte. He's a drunk. He's like, I just want to be back in your life, son. And he's like, you can train me, but we're not friends. <laughs> and then their other brother is a like fucking biology teacher. Nice. And he's like, we need to save the house, honey. I'm back to fighting. And she's like, don't, don't do it. He's like, they're gonna, we're gonna lose the house if we don't. So he enters the tournament. Both brothers enter the tournament. Run through the tournament, dude. Of course. The chemistry guy is more of a fucking submission tactician. Really? <laughs> uh, Tom Hardy's just a one punch knockout, dude. <laughs> Fighting the dog. Nothing but he knocks dudes out and just walks straight out. Doesn't stick. Doesn't around. celebrate another. Doesn't celebrate. Oh, fuck. Turns out he was a war hero. He ripped the door off of a tank that was in underwater in Iraq somehow. <laughs> this is all fictional. Yeah. Jesus this is a, Christ. Yes. <laughs> Some so, good diesel fan. So then, got their hands on a screenplay. Yeah. So then the Marines find out and <laughs> they're like, he again, he's entering the ring with no not no entrance music, and while he walks out, there's a whole section of Marines singing their the Marine song. That's his entrance music, his Marines singing, getting pumped. And then he comes out, one punch, knock out everybody. And then in the final round, obviously they meet in the finals, the chemistry teacher and the former Marine. They meet in the finals. 
I'm not gonna spoil it, dude, because you're gonna like you're gonna like it. <laughs> they suck each other and go to jail. They end for up sucking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, they get fuck, court martial. They get the death penalty <laughs> for sucking. Not only being gay, but with your brother. Is UFC D- Dubai? Or they fucking go to jail for a hundred years. Did they? And then they, so if you're watching it, you know they're brothers the whole time. Yeah. And then it's like a big reveal to the people in the movie. You know they're, they're like, going to, as soon as you like, started this movie, I'm they're like, they're brothers. <laughs> it's, it's, yeah. Oh, it's that's crazy. dumb. I, I, as soon as you start telling this movie, I'm like, they're going to end up fighting each other. Yeah, they fight in the championship. Yeah. Chemistry brother wins, dude. He breaks Tom Hardy's arm. Good. And then Tom Hardy fights through it and he's like, come on, give up, brother. He's like, fuck you. I'm never giving up. This is for the Marines. <laughs> Dude, we won the house. Shut yeah. the fuck up, you idiot. Yeah. The house is secure. Yeah, Tom Hardy should have threw the fight. That would have been great if like Tom Hardy had like a horrible gambling addiction and threw the fight. Got paid. That'd be fun. See, that would be a good idea. accidentally hit his brother and killed him. I was like, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> yeah. That'd be great to write a movie. That's that's clearly in the vein of like a triple X fast where it's got it's just like guys being strong and fast and honorable. Yeah. And you just go watch and you're like, oh fuck. Oh fuck, gotta be a better man. Yeah. But it'd be nice to have that where it ends just wretchedly. Yeah. Where the guy that gets hit and his brother dies and like they lose the house. <laughs> yeah. He's like, I'm not strong or fast anymore, Ma. Yeah. And you're like, it's all right. He's like, it doesn't make sense. What's the point of this? And then some fat the fuck's the point some of anything? Fat dork that has money comes and fucks his wife. <laughs> <laughs> puts him in jail <laughs> or the, the guy wins the fight and then he gets let out in handcuffs because he had sex with like a 16 year old sophomore <laughs> <laughs> which is still tight <laughs> that still plays into the hardcore masculine part role. two yeah there's jail yeah. Like, come here you fucking no, pedophile he runs jail <laughs> yeah, he gets you know who I am uh, I was thinking because we were me and uh, the fellas were working on that King show we're trying to we're, we're working on we're right whatever Beautiful. but I was I was talking to John yesterday it'd be funny if Anytime we introduce a character, you know how like in any series you add characters and they leave, they come and go. Yeah. Every character that leaves the show needs to kill themselves. <laughs> There's never another way that somebody leaves the show. <laughs> Every character eventually kills themselves. It'd be funny. <laughs> Just building up the circumstances to why they have to do it would be so fucking yeah, funny. Yeah, cause, yeah if, the, if the viewer knew that they were going to eventually, <laughs> you just slowly see like them drop a cup and be like... <laughs> <laughs> like just the whole time small things bothering them immensely especially the medieval suicide methods would be so nothing but self guillotines oh dude even though yeah entering the iron what's like the thing they put on looks like a yeah, iron suit? maiden where you just stand there for a fucking one month <laughs> I'm killing myself <laughs> just <laughs> <laughs> oh the one with nails that you close oh you ever see Jesus that one? Christ dude yeah. they did some wild stuff they were bad boys. The boys were up to no good. They were bad boys. I wonder how tolerant they were of other people, though, in terms of like people's beliefs and oh, I'm sure they were very lifestyles. No, they put them in a fucking <laughs> nail bed and closed it. <laughs> yeah, they would just push you out of a window immediately. Yeah, they brave Some dude you. was like, "This is my country song." I'm like, just fucking get yeah, fuck out get of here. that country out of here. It sucks. It sucks dude. Fucking it's, with that. It's different than us. It'd be funny that back then they're like. That's different than us. Like we should kill him. <laughs> we should kill him. It's exactly what it was. <laughs> that's different than us. That's tribalism, bro. <laughs> yeah, dude. That's in chimps. It's fucking. I don't know. That's different than us. <laughs> that's exactly everything. <laughs> that's exactly everything. Yeah, but that's not like us. I'm like, what should we do? Like, we should. Yeah. Break that. There's a whole other tribe we found. They're wearing pants different than us. <laughs> we gotta break in there at night and cut their heads off. <laughs> and but we'll still we'll keep their wives. <laughs> yeah, true. Bring their wives. Yeah, true. Their wives. <laughs> yeah, that must have been weird, man. Because as a lady, it's like, you know, you'd eventually come around and play ball. With whoever your captor was? Yeah. I mean, there must they have been They come a around lot. to their captors. I mean, I'm sure there was a couple down-ass bitches who would be like, fuck you, never, fuck you. First off, the chances are it was an arranged marriage, and whoever they got arranged to was also a psycho. That's true. That's a good point. There was not a lot of loyalty back then. In fact, I'm sure it still doesn't exist today. If that Ruski that was doing the shelves upstairs cut my head off, True. he would have just moved in. True. And True. she would have been like, well, he's nice. <laughs> he's cleaner than Shane. <laughs> he doesn't yell at me. Yeah, it's true. Women actually, yeah, the women were like currency in uh, I mean, ancient. So that's the same thing that would happen to me. Some hot chick fucking kidnapped me. I'd be yeah. like, I love this lady. <laughs> That's true. That's true. Somebody dude. just broken and murdered my girlfriend. Yeah, I'd be like, and he's like, I have a billion a dollars. Who are you? <laughs> yeah. What's your name? You're coming with me. Like, no, no, I, I could never. If Kim Kardashian came in and ripped me out of my bed, I'd be like, no. Get off. No. Get off, Kim. How many Instagram photos? You have 287? 
13,000? <laughs> <laughs> it's nothing to sneeze at. <laughs> Could you tag me in something? Just tag me in one thing so I can get a couple more. Before you force yourself upon me, do you mind tagging I'm me? I'm an adult male that cares about followers. <laughs> <laughs> I love being an adult man that cares about followers. I'll tell you what, I'm pretty. I am good about that. What? I, do, I, I every now and again I look and go, oh, wow. Yeah, I'm not like, oh fuck, I gotta but get the, more. The fucked up thing. It is. It is a. Uh, yeah, but if a you're thing. a bro stuck down at like 85, <laughs> <laughs> you got it. There's gotta be a. Sorry, party. dumbass. You should have wasted 10 years <laughs> yeah. doing stand-up comedy. You should have gone to open mics <laughs> and battled with fucking mentally unstable people <laughs> for 10 years. That is funny though. That that is a big deal. The quest having like a digital <laughs> platform. Oh, I thought you were talking the quest it takes to reach this level. That, no, I'm saying that, that's what I'm saying. It's like it's a journey. Everyone you know is like, you idiot, go get your Series Seven and learn how to do accounting. And I was like, I don't think so. And instead, I was just like selling weed at an open mic. And yeah. it all came together. I was like I knew I was right. Yeah, I had a feeling <laughs> was right. this was gonna work out, <laughs> dude. I do that every time I go home. Every time I go home, I'm like, Dad, you need money. <laughs> I told you, dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah i mean that was a big yeah that was a my mom was begging me she was like please just please go get a job as and a they're teacher. right they were right well they didn't know this they, should have never worked what happened is we were so retarded <laughs> yeah. that like the technology just <laughs> siphoned around we're like oh perfect yeah we jumped we leaped it was a quantum leap we were so retarded and steamlining towards like deep embarrassing failure <laughs> at such a rapid pace that we quantum leaped with technology. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we found a wormhole, dude. <laughs> yeah. Just a retarded wormhole that was like <laughs> Matt, just, <laughs> just flying through the it cosmos. Was, it was my late twenties on an air mattress. Just like <laughs> I don't know where <laughs> this is headed. <laughs> Shit, <laughs> I'm losing everything. <laughs> <laughs> And then oh. it just one day it was like, here's a million dollars. Oh, fuck. I'm so retarded, though. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Uh, what, yeah. Oh, fuck. I don't know how to have relationships. <laughs> yeah, it's, like, it's like, look, I have money. <laughs> it's <just a> cowboy <laughs> boots. Cowboy boots and hat. Come Nothing out. has changed. I'm like, I still don't understand how relationships <laughs> I work. That's I don't good. know one thing. <laughs> Yeah, I got some fucking Ruski up there installing <laughs> shelves. I'm down here like, ah, I know things. <laughs> Let me tell you about World War II. <laughs> <laughs> that, so we paid we paid to have some guy install some shelves. And uh he came in today. He said he's clearly he's just a Russian dude. And I was like, It's nice to have a man around the house. <laughs> he just stared at me. <laughs> I was wearing a cowboy hat and boots. <laughs> oh fuck I came up with the ultimate jest today Comple Completely organic and natural I, I accidentally went through the Non-easy pass lane <laughs> So I pull up It's my turn And I look at the lady and said I got the easy pass so I'm gonna go through <laughs> Dude, She goes okay Yeah Wait, now, was it an easy pass or did you pull up to the cash I, only? I had the cash only but So it's you pulled up the cash only pass. and just go well, Now, yeah. now what right, I do nice. This is Sean's idea. You attempt to hand him your easy pass. Like, I got the easy pass. <laughs> <laughs> Just go. Yeah, go ahead. I'm going to go through. <laughs> it's, it's so funny. I mean, that honestly must happen quite a bit. <laughs> I bet it's Which is fucking geezers and foreigners just coming through like, hey, I have it. And they're like, no, you're good. It's like, good. This good. That's what, yeah, like yeah. I stuck in it. I was like, oh, fuck it. I went back. I got the easy pass. So I'm gonna go through. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> go, okay. I went last night. I did last last night. I did a show in Long Beach, New York. There's a town that's a it's it's a secluded white island. Really? Yes, dude. Indigenous. They they have a toll. It's cash only. There's no easy pass <gasps> to enter on the bridge. And then you get in there and you have to pay for beach passes. And it's just firefighters and cops. It's just a white paradise, dude. Of what do you got to flick it? You got to flick heads. like a. 9-11 coin. <laughs> yeah, you got to give them a 9-11 coin, and they're like, never forget. Get in there. What's the password? Go black out never on the forget. beach. Yes, it's a it's a fat whitehead paradise. Dude. Really? I fit right in. They were like, what are you, a cop? I was like, like, yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> pretty much. I was mad during the riots. <laughs> <laughs> pretty much. I didn't like that at all. <laughs> I'm one of force. you guys. Welcome to the force. <laughs> Yeah, it was oh, fun man. though. Did stand up in front of a bunch of Long Beach fucking morons. That's awesome. They were great. It was just the bros. Long just a bunch of just fucking heads. Long Island bros, dude. Oh. Backwards hats. 
<laughs> hockey jerseys screaming. It was a fun. It was fun. That's a good. I time, gotta get man. you there. I gotta get you there. I would love LBI. You would. You would do well there. See a bunch of cop heads. Bunch of cop heads. Hello, my big headed brethren. Yes. What's up, fat heads? What's up, fat buzz oh, cut dude, heads? Did I? Oh my god! I didn't even show you this. What? Soda brought this. I he, I showed Soda this. I I sent him a picture of this dude. You're never gonna believe this dude. Let me see this dude. <laughs> so I was driving. I was in Rhode Island, and this dude looked. You know how like you're you shouldn't realize who your doppelganger is. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. if you see someone that looks like you, it's uncomfortable. You don't realize it. Yeah. This guy looked so much like me. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> And then Soda was like, oh, yeah, I forgot you have fat New England head. And there's like 90 <laughs> dudes that look like you. <laughs> this is how I saw the man. Oh, my God. Let me see that. Oh, my God, dude. One more. You zoomed on him? <laughs> you don't see the resemblance in the face? Oh, my God. What the fuck are you guys talking about? It's. Yeah. I get it. Let me zoom in. Let me smaller see. Let me if you, zoom in. He was smaller than me, but he, we've got the same dimensions, dude. <laughs> <laughs> the zoom hurts. His headphone is nice. He's chilling. Yeah, you do. I mean, you He's do. He's got have... the fucking Echo sweatpants on, sitting on a guardrail along a highway. <laughs> dude, that guy fucking rules. Yeah, it's a legend. That what is a, a town legend, dude. Being a being a New England fathead is fucking <laughs> New sick. <England> fathead. <laughs> 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 Yeah, there was a guy at uh, our old job. We used to call him Buffalo Head. Dude, that's the best, man. There's a guy. Here. There's, there's a dude at our old job. We used to call him Buffalo Head. This big black dude with a humongous fucking head. And one day, this guy called it to him to his face. He's like, yo, Buffalo Head. And we're all like, oh, no. no, no, no. Dude, that's what we all say when we laugh behind his back. Oh, fuck. Dude, we're, uh, where are we at, Sean Gardini? Yeah, let's switch over, baby. Woo. Wow, that's God nice. Damn. All right, what uh, what do we got? We'll be in. Where are you going? We in Salt Lake this weekend, but don't worry, y'all. That's all sold out. Sorry. Sorry oh, but that. I do need to sell tickets to Levity Live, March third through the fifth. All right, and okay. then March seventeenth, eighteenth, nineteenth. I think that's Denver Comedy Works. It might be sold out, but take a look. Oh, this is a big one that I haven't promoted. March 24th, 25th, 26th, I'll be in Edmonton, Canada. Dude. Whoa. I'm headed up to Canada. The truckers will let you through, It's time too. for me to, yeah. It's time, I need to have a conference with the boys in Edmonton. Dude, that'll be... Yes. I need to talk to Justin from Canada. I'm going to say, Justin from Canada, cut it out with the blackface, would you? We knock it off. What the fuck are you doing? Yeah. Cut it out with the freezing bank account stuff, dude. That's nonsense. You got to wonder where that goes. That money has to go somewhere. It was frozen. Just that's it. They don't deplete it. So you just go, can't access it. Can't like the cops can like steal your car. Like, I'm sure, I'm sure, can the Canadian government just like put that towards like? I'm sure they could. Staplers. I can. Shit? I'm sure they can be. Yeah. I'm sure they can be like. Uh, we signed a new bill where, if if you were in the trucker rally, there he's pushing. You're going to donate that money to the Dude, native, were, <laughs> the native true. people. They were saying, well, they they're locking them up too. They're locking up the natives? Yeah, dude. They got those guys. They can't go out and do their like regular native life stuff. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. God what the damn. fuck, man? Yeah, you matter, know what, though? Dude. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like you're out doing shit. They, you know, they, they have to, they have to basically would go into a reservation and be like, yo, by the way, you guys got this full COVID protocols. Lock it down. They lock those dudes down, man. Of course. In Australia, too. Some bullshit, dude. Who the fuck? I would never go. Dude, on you see, they were going to like into like the that. Amazon and like giving the vaccine to like <laughs> tribes that hadn't met people yet. Yeah, they're like, "Hi, we fucked up. <laughs> we fucked up pretty bad, just in case." <laughs> oh, we have it. Yeah, sorry. Oh my. We God. gave it to your tribe. Jesus, guys. Matt, where are you? Go to Buffalo, New York, March twelfth. Oh yeah. Helium Buffalo and that's gonna be Liddy. The big, the big test, dude. This is I might, I might retire off this, but the big test is gonna be When's bananas? bananas, dude. Bananas, I believe, is April 29th. I'm trying to find it. I'm You're gonna sell that out, bro. Uh, you, you that thing's gonna be packed. I don't know. I'm always, I'm always ready for anything. That but. is one of the saddest. <laughs> I heard. Well, I mean, now I've been, you're lucky, bro. Yeah, I've been Matt, doing. Matt, let me tell you what it was tell like. What let was me it? tell you what it was like, bro. What was that like? Tell Going out that. there with zero fans to bananas. <laughs> you want to talk about a bad time? Wait till you get to bananas. You're gonna say, "Who would live here?" Really? 
It's hell. We cut through Rutherford the one time. Yeah, you, you, it's a dry, it's a highway. It's yeah. a fucking highway. Yep. This April, hotel is along the highway. I saw it actually. I went to my cousin's yeah. wedding. We passed it. It's yeah. along a long, yeah, it's along the longest highway. April 29th. Don't listen to Shane. I love Rutherford. <laughs> April 29th, April 30th. It's a fucking WAP den of shit, dude. <laughs> <laughs> April 29th, April 30th. But anyway, uh, you're going to get, bananas. imagine this, dude. Yeah. You're, you're going to go into a nice hot crowd <clears throat> in a fucking banquet yeah. hall of a holiday inn along the highway. Yeah. Now imagine doing that for twenty five people. I dude, I've yes, I did, I went up to I went up to fucking. Uh, You'll see. I dude, I'm, I when you I, see that room, dude, imagine it empty. Dude, the Bristol comedy. I did the Bristol comedy works, dude. I mean, not as a headline. It's different <laughs> Bro, though. Just, just different get ready. As a headliner, yeah, that's different. Just get ready. That's it's a sad room. While you're up there, just go. I wonder what this would have been like. Yeah. Except I would have like two guys. They're like, yeah, <laughs> and then it'd be a room full of wops eating fucking. Pasta staring. I at battled it. the WAPs up in somewhere in New York a long time ago off a gig salad gig and just came out and just dude they fucking hated me. Yeah, I had I hit them with Ginzo. To, it was Cinco de Mayo. I was like, Happy Ginzo de Mayo, <laughs> dude. They were all like, What the fuck? <laughs> they were so mad. <laughs> they were doing like fucking spaghetti. They had like spaghetti. They had guacamole, which I was making fun of. I'm like, You fucking WAPs on make guacamole, guacamole, dude. <laughs> I wish I'd been sharp that night. It was you just, been. I hate yeah, Ginzo, I mean, Ginzo de Mayo. Great. I was like, you wops can't make guacamole. Knock it yeah. off. And then I was like, who made it? And they're like, we didn't make it. And they pointed some Mexican lady. And I was like, all right. All right, nice. It's probably she good did. Like, all right. <laughs> um, Guard Dog, you got anything you want to promote? Yeah, dude. No, well, I'll do a BZ show tomorrow at Going to Hell at Helium. But oh, yeah. This will it, probably come out just before that. And I think they're due. I think it's sold out. So. Oh, nice. Sean, you should do a meet and greet after. You uh, should do a meet and greet. <laughs> do a meet and greet, dude. Do a meet and greet after going to hell. No. Set up, set up a merch table after. No. Yes. You should, dude. Guys, please stop teasing. <laughs> We're not teasing. We're trying to fucking show you the business, dude. You're right. I'm sorry. Thank sell you. water. Sell like Gatorades or something after the show. <laughs> yeah, go be like one of those kids on fucking <laughs> Lincoln Ave. Just yeah. sell the football. Yeah, sell for turtles. your football team. <laughs> I'm going to do turtles like the guys. Now, don't come at the Muslim community. Please don't come at the Muslim community. <laughs> come on, man. We're trying to give you business Forgive ideas. And you're Forgive back. me. We're entrepreneurs. <laughs> my, my, I was just We're going to sell water <laughs> on the highway. <laughs> I was just thinking, my Aunt Kathy calls Italians gindaloons. I always thought that was funny. <laughs> That's pretty funny. That, that is. Think of it. That wins. Gindaloons wins. Getting the lens is nice. All right. We're yeah. going to switch over to the Patreon. Guys, join the Patreon. For Imagine you had fun this hour. Dude. Think of a whole nother hour of laughs. Yeah. And imagine where we really get to let our hair down, dude. This yeah. Was, I'm probably not even going to wear the hat for the second episode. So sure. imagine how cool that's going to be. Whoa. Think about it. <laughs>